Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and we're here at the GTS Distribution Come and Play Day in Atlanta 2016 and I'm here with Ray Weirs of Calliope Games. Hi Ray, nice to have you here. Rodney, it's a pleasure, Again? as always, man. <laughs> yes. You know I love coming I know, here. Well, I love having you back because you always bring a game with you and what'd you bring this time? Of course, well, this time we've got Thieves, right? Okay, this and is Thieves. Uh, Thieves is a, a wonderful bluffing game, right? Okay. And uh, you're, it's also uh, a game where you're gonna try to, you know, really, Screw neighbor. Are we up to some shenanigans here, maybe? <laughs> we a are bit? up to a lot okay. of shenanigans, Good. right? Well, okay, so can you maybe tell us a little bit about the theme of the game? What's, yeah, what's so, the idea here? What are we in so, the middle of? In Thieves, we are actually all thieves. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We are in the safe. We're in the bank. Okay. Okay. We're looting and, it right now. And we are looting okay. it right now. <laughs> I like that. So what we're trying to do is grab all the cash, right? Okay. And and these are so, different values of cash, right? That's different, One, two, and different three. values of cash. Okay. Now, there's also a couple of special types of loot because you are in the safety deposit box area. Oh, so I you see. do have a golden horseshoe and a nice little a big rock there, you know, so a diamond for you, for you to, to heist away, okay. right? Um, and the thing is, is you need to get to your getaway car, right? Okay. So the idea behind the game is grab as much loot as you can and get to the getaway car right. before the cops come. All right. right, so the cops are going to come and potentially prevent us from getting off of this caper. Yeah, you know, and if I have anything to do with it, I love you. I really, really do. <laughs> I know you do, Ray. But you know what? I'm going to try to set you up so that you're busting and that I can get, get the most loot. And, and get away with it. Yep. Should we show a little sample turn of how this comes together? Maybe we'll set things up a little bit here. When we come back, we'll, we'll try. Only if you let me win. <laughs> <laughs> I can't guarantee that, but I think your odds are probably pretty good. All right, let's do that. I'd love to do it. All right, Ray, so we've got things already sort of mid-game yes. here, right? We've got a few things, each in our own stashes. We each have our own private stashes, some hidden goodies in here. Indeed. We see some, uh, some helmets on the table already, and we'll talk about how these work in just a moment. We also have one getaway yeah, card. That is correct. All right. So on, on your turn, you're going to draw until you have four in your hand, That's right? correct. So you're going to draw up until so you I'm at three. Four. So I, I, I got four now. Oh, and I just drew a getaway card. Yes. So what happens with this? So the getaway card is actually a timer for the game. Okay. okay? So um, what, it's an autoplay. So as soon as you pull one, you place it down on the table. Okay. When there are seven of them showing, the game is over. That's when we're gonna okay. score and see who That's who when won. we score and see okay. who wins. So do I replace that? Yep, okay. and so that's an auto play, so you're gonna replace. All right, I've um, got something that's not a getaway card, so that goes into my hand. And now, so if I have some, some loot, there's a couple different ways I can play it, right? I can either is. play it into my own stash. Correct. Face down, I believe. That's correct. So, right, you so play, if you play it into your own hand, it's face down. You can also play it on my hand if you want to try to frame me. So here, <laughs> I like you can frame I like me, this is going. Okay. Right? Yes. Yes. Um, with the cops, right? So right. when there's four of these helmets showing, that's when a raid will happen. Okay. At that point, whoever has the most loot, right, it's is busted. busted. Now they're not out of the game. Right. Right. They're just they've lost all of their loot, and uh, they're back in, into the vault. Right? Okay. And up to their old shenanigans they again. They learn their lesson, right? I see. Okay, and, and all right. You're right back at it. So you're okay. out on parole, right? Okay, so, I got you. All right. There you go. So I think I like that. I'm going to try to frame you, right? Oh. <laughs> see how you are? So, and it has to be played face up, it right? Has so, to be so you face can up. see now, we know Ray has got at least two gold here. Right. Two sacks of gold. All right. And so just so the, so the audience knows, yeah. the, the gold range is anywhere from zero to three points. That's zero is interesting. It's a bluffing. Bluffing right, right because if I put that into my stash, people might go, oh, Rodney's got a ton of loot there. He's That's probably right. going to be bust. We're safe. But then if we raid and I flip over a bunch of zeros, it's like, nah, I was uh, good. Right? <laughs> That's exactly okay, right. Okay, okay. That's I, exactly I right. Okay. All right. So now it's my turn, so I'm going sure. to draft. And uh, you know, uh, we are thieves, but yes. we are not the most honorable of thieves. <laughs> okay, what so we here, here? here we go. This is the thief card. And the thief card allows you to transfer one card from your... Uh, loot to another player. I see what you're undoing here. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. There's a couple sacks of gold for you to carry. There, there All, right. All right. All right. Okay, so that's a little concerning for me. All right, so it's my turn. It is your right? turn. I can, I can draw back up to four. All right. And I'm, I'm not loving the direction things are going in here. I'd love to be able to give you more, but I think I will... Oh. I, I wish to give you more. Okay. <laughs> my okay. generosity is limited to one at this time, I'm afraid. Well, so we are at a point where um, I believe yes. that uh, there's a little bit of deception going on here. Okay. Right? Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and play a double helmet cop. 
Right. Right? So now we're at four. And now we're at four. So now the raid happens. All right. Right? And so at this point, we're both going to reveal our cards. We have to show what we've been up to. So we have to show our loot. <laughs> All right. Well, it appears that I might have gotten a little greedy here. I do have, uh, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. That is correct. Seven. And, and you were a little less greedy. You've got, well, what's this? Well, this, this is actually the horseshoe. It's a golden horseshoe. Yeah. Right? So during the game, it's, it's worth um, one? one point. Okay. And at the end of the game, it's worth three. Okay. And I think so thematically, the idea here is they're going to see this old horseshoe and go, oh, this isn't worth the very much. Yeah, the cops yeah. don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. Right? <laughs> and then at the end gold. of the game, they, it's, uh, it's pure gold, so it's really easy <laughs> okay. to mount down and fence, right? Um, the zero card is a, is a bluffing card. Right, you had really that in there to make me think maybe you were a little higher than you really that's were. Right. Okay. And just to make sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put that one yeah, down. I, yeah, right? that's right. So, so we've got a total of two here, yes. right? And so clearly I had the most. So what happens now? So at this point, these will all get shuffled back into the deck. So yeah. all the cards that were played up to this point, yes. are then shuffled Except into for the, the getaways. Except for timer, the getaways, basically, yep. right, yeah. And so my, my stash stays, right? right. And then um, the next player will draw. And this is all public. Now, you'll continue to build on this stash, but I now, now we know have, what you I now have. have a target on my back. Okay. Right? Right. So people know exactly where I'm at and what they're trying to do, right? And so the next player would go. And, and there, there are a few other know. card effects. I thought this one might be kind of fun to show here, because this one, I forget the name of it, but this will cause everyone. That's a blockade. It's yeah. a blockade, yeah. right? It's the blockade. Okay. Yeah, and so what it does is it will block all of the cops. Yes. Right. So uh, if you wanted to start from zero, the count from zero, you just lay that down on top of the cops, and the and the discards will all stop. The, the helmets away. It discards all the helmets okay. away, and you build back up to four. One other one I think might be kind of fun to show. Sure. Here is, uh, we have, these are some sirens, right? The police sirens. That is the sirens. Okay. So, so when this is played, what happens? So when that happens, that actually pulls, that's a raid, right? Okay. And what it does, it actually pulls all of the um, helmets out of everybody else's hands. So we have to play them. If you have them, you have to play them. If you, if you have them, you have to play so them. So you might be thinking, I got lots of time over here. I'm building up a nice little stash. I got and time to like fill other people's up. And then suddenly, boom, the cops uh, are here, come, the here, comes the, <laughs> right. here comes the sirens. There's the raid. Yeah. It, it actually will force a raid many, many times, more often than not. Sure. So Especially, it's a lot yeah, of fun. With, and how many people does this play? Um, you can play anywhere from three to six players. OK. And, and yeah. what would you say the approximate length of? Uh, so. The, the game, will, it plays really, really fast. So you're looking at a 10-minute uh, round. And we put uh, diamonds actually Oh, yeah. Can in, you show us these? Yep, we, we have some gems that are actually in the box yep. uh, to mark the rounds. So the first player to win two gems yes. is the winner of the game. OK, so you play a full game. Whoever wins takes a gem. You can That's play right. again. And so right, you're trying to accumulate yep. those. And as a filler game, you know, if, if you only have four or five minutes between games, this is a great, great game. Drop it in with. play. That's and this is available game. right now, right? That it, it is available right now, and it's a perfect stocking stuffer. That's right. Christmas is around the corner. It's not this That's recording right. anyway. Christmas is soon. <laughs> Christmas maybe, is soon. Maybe you want to encourage some thievery. <laughs> Indeed you do. Indeed you do. Excellent. Well, so. thank you, uh, Ray, for showing us. It's a pretty good overview of the game. People have a sense mm -hmm. of how this works, hopefully. Of course, if you have any questions at all, you can put them in the comments below. But right now, I just want to thank you, Ray, for again it's showing us another game. Great to see you. Thank you, Ray. Until the next episode, thanks for watching.